kelp sustains a lot of life in the ocean. Right here alone along our coast, kelp beds support over 700 species of marine life. I'm Terry Herzig, and I'm a commercial sea urchin and sea cucumber diver who has, in the last few years, transitioned into being an active part of a kelp restoration project here in Southern California. That's the Bay Foundation boat. They're going to set their anchor first, probably, and give us an idea of where, where they want us to work today. What we're doing with the Bay Foundation is we're culling purple sea urchins that have created what's called urchin barrens. They start in an area next to kelp and they just start devouring and munching on the kelp and soon you have this moonscape of a habitat. Giant kelp, in this case, is the foundational species for these kelp forests. Because it grows from the rocks up to the surface, it provides all this structure as well as a source of food. Roughly 750 species use this habitat in Southern California, and if it's gone, those 750 species are essentially homeless. My name is Tom Ford. I'm the CEO of the Bay Foundation in Los Angeles, California. The key problem we had was too many purple sea urchins due to a loss of predators in the system who would otherwise eat those urchins, minimize their number, and keep the whole system in balance. So if we don't go in there like we do and intercede and clear out these urchins, they'll just stay put. And those urchin barons that were out there last year would still be urchin barons next year if we didn't go out there and change them. And so with Sea Trees funding, what we've done is restart this ecological machine so that it can restore its own health and continue to respond. That's what we've made happen. The kelp forest came back. The ocean is our life source, it's our lifeblood. If you're gonna do anything, do something with purpose and passion. My name is Danny Washington and I'm an ambassador with Sea Trees. My goal is always to share positive stories, stories of hope, stories of solutions that are real and tangible. And for me, this project is just an example of that. Danny just had a smile that was like, you know, this wide when she was actually out there in the kelp forest. And that's the exact kind of response that we want to give everyone. They may not have seen yet or they may not know, but if we can tell that story to the next generation, that's really what needs to happen because they're the ones who are going to be inheriting this world and the work that we're doing. We know we have been really instrumental in helping this process along. Over the month's time, the areas we had worked on were unrecognizable to us, just like so much growth. Very incredible to be part of that. I say, you know, your time, your treasure, or your talents. If we just allow the environmentalists to do this because it's their job, we're done. This is everybody's job. This is gonna be a big lift. So the more life we can produce and protect and restore, the better off everybody will be and everything connected to it. It's really, yeah, it's just a wonderful thing to be involved with. Watching them work together as a team, it's just incredible to watch. This is truly proof that we can figure out better and bigger solutions for our planet.